all right what is going on good morning and welcome to the channel all right notice how i'm being greeted with the please pay attention to the road with the red sign i'm noticing about 50 percent of the time i'm being greeted when i turn fsd on with that um and a little tip and trick uh for anyone that uses fsd or autopilot if you turn on your autopilot and you engage and you see that red sign I just disengage right away and then re-engage um, to make sure it's not there uh, from what I understand the telemetry um, has improved a little bit with uh, Tesla so what that means is that they're watching you and your eyeball movement a little bit more using the cabin camera and I think with the latest update it's a bit more sensitive all right so what are some ways that you can get around that all right so i mean this is for safety purposes so no way that this video is intending on teaching you how to get around it but there are some things that make it less sensitive um that certain practices you can try like for example when you are greeted with please pay attention with the red hands you want to go ahead and disengage um and the reason why is if you could for whatever reason that that made the telemetry tell you that um, it, it's trying to say that you weren't paying attention when you engaged. And if it gives you one more notice with the red hands, that's considered a strike. So how to reset that is just disengage and then, you know, re-engage it back. Make sure that the nudge that it gives you just shows the hands in a simple black and white text, no color. Um, as soon as the red is in there, uh, beware, you're on the verge of getting a strike. So this now applies to everyone that drives a Tesla, not just FSD. Since the, the recall happened, the reason of the recall was that the steering wheel nag wasn't being displayed large enough. It was just here, tiny in the corner. Now it shows nice and large in the middle of the screen so but along with that came the telemetry software being installed onto a regular autopilot so it, it basically acts like fsd does and since i've been in the program for over a year now i'm pretty familiar with strikes i kind of drive with them in the back of my head all the time and uh this is the purpose of this video is just to kind of get you a little bit more alert on how it works i mean the number one thing that the cabin camera does is watch out for you grabbing your cell phone so that's the number one thing that could get you a strike now there are other reasons you can get a strike and that's kind of the point i'm trying to make here sometimes they are by mistake um, for whatever reason or you just didn't think you did anything wrong so my goal is to try to prevent that and anytime you see those red hands pop up just go ahead and disengage autopilot and then re-engage it back um, not saying that that will prevent you from any strikes but that's kind of the way that I've been doing it just to kind of make sure when I've been greeted with that slight turning force uh, nag sometimes immediately when I click on FSD. All right, so we've got a nice short drive for you all here today. Um, FSD is in control since the beginning of this video and that small takeover. Uh, hopefully everyone watching this is having a great morning. Just doing um, a little work commute and notice how FSD is going to be doing the entire drive for me. Of course, unless there's any kind of reason I need to take over, um, which I feel pretty confident that there shouldn't be. So we're back here in the Loudoun County area. We're looking to make a right here onto Cascades Parkway. So let's see how FSD handles the indicator and uh, overall just making this right turn. I got someone really close behind me try to give it a little bit of space between us so let's see it looks like they're trying to cut me off good I'm just glad they weren't going right all right here we go with fsd with the last second went ahead and decides to make the right all 
right, nice job with the right turn there, really smooth. I like the way that it sped up immediately. No waste of time there. Honestly, I don't think I could have done it any differently. So yeah, shout out to FSD, really doing its thing. Um, come, you know, each improvement, I noticed the, the driving behavior tends to get better, um, but this time we did get a little bit more instructions with, when it comes to the steering wheel nag, when we expected it to be kind of going away. So who knows where we are with the steering wheel nag getting, you know, going away and when they're getting rid of it. I, sure if that's going to be happening anytime soon with the NHSTA on Tesla's back about you know how how much alert that the driver has while this is engaged I think is their most important thing um, and I, I think that the steering wheel nag is you know it's kind of a good median uh, but then again I would like to see it go away let me know what you think below comment uh, down in the video um, what are your thoughts? If you uh, think that that's something that's required, do you think people will abuse it if it's gone? Do you think that the reason why they made it worse is because people were abusing it? Let me know what you think. I mean, I know a lot of people are angry with the fact that they don't have FSD and now they can get strikes. I'm sure that's not too uh, pleasant for people to think about. Now, I wonder what happens if I get five strikes on FSD. Does that put me back into autopilot mode? Or does that remove autopilot completely from my car? And if you get five strikes with autopilot, does that remove autopilot from your car? I'm not sure. So let me know what you think. Um, if you have the answers to those questions, drop, drop a comment below. Um, this is definitely a new thing for everyone. So it takes some getting used to. Uh, but my recommendation is, you know, try to keep your eyes on the road. Um, when the car is moving, don't be staring at the screen or your cell phone. Um, try to reserve that for when the car is not moving or when you're in park. And with that being said, you know, you should have a perfect drive and not have any takeovers unnecessarily or get any kind of strikes. Um, but the biggest thing really is um, no phone. Put your phone down while you're driving. I think that's really important. Uh, no matter if you're using FSD or not, I think that's just you know common sense. All right, here we go with the left turn. Oof, really nice job. It's doing this in the it's pretty wet wet roads out this morning. Wet conditions here. All right, so FSD tends to always try to take the wrong turn here. I want to see what it does, but it, it tends to fix itself also if it does, but hopefully, I, I always send like a voice note. So let's see what it does this time. It tries to make this turn here, which I guess it didn't do it this time. Nice. Maybe they heard my voice note and they fixed it because now I'm looking to make a right, right over here. All right. All in all, um, that was a really smooth drive, I have to say. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, drop a comment below what you think about the steering wheel nag. Definitely interested in knowing. I want to thank everyone again for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day.